Hi all. In this short video I want to show you how you can use the discussion tool in our learning management system called ELC New. So if you want to take part in discussions for the discussions assignments, note in the home page of our course site there's a nav link to discussions. Click on that and you'll see a list of forums and topics. In ELC New, discussion tool provides a place for users to communicate by posting messages into defined topic areas and respond to the messages posted by others. So I've started making assignments that will require you to take part in these types of discussions. Discussions can take place inside of topics where messages are posted, read, and replied to. So I am going to post the topics. What I would like for you to do for your assignments is for each of you to create a top-level message and then you're going to reply to the messages of your classmates and I'll show you how to do that here. You notice I have a forum about internet programming and one of those is the Java programming language discussion topic. So if we want to take part in this discussion you'll want to click on the link. You notice I have already posted one sample question. Let me first show you how you can post your own question by posting a new top-level question. Simply go to compose from this view. Type in a meaningful subject. Make sure that your message is much more meaningful than this small sample that I'm going to put. You can even attach files or record some audio if you want to make an audio discussion. Feel free to play with those types of tools as well. But when you're finished, click on Post. You notice that I now have two sample questions. Both are at what we would call the top level, or where a discussion is started about a particular topic. So the first part of your discussion assignment, you should create one of these. If we have 12 students, we'd see 12 top level messages. Now suppose that you want to reply to a message by one of your peers, which is part of the sec which is the second part of any of your assignments, go to the message you want to reply to, read it, and then click on reply. Type in a meaningful discussion. Add any of the things that you would like to include, such as audio or a file, and hit Post. Now you can see that there are two top-level discussions started, and it's threaded and indented, so we can see that the reply here to this discussion is ongoing. A different classmate can reply to this You notice those are at the same level, or they can continue a thread by replying on the exact message that they want to reply to. So here you can see that we have two very top level messages. One of them has been replied to at kind of a second level twice, and then another one has been carried to a third level. So please play around with these features as you respond to the discussion assignment for this week. And I'll see you next time.